Department of Defense is constantly researching new forms of weaponry, both lethal and otherwise. And some of those potentially lethal technologies include lasers, both lethal and non-lethal. Military Times ground combat reporter Todd South attended the Pentagon's directed energy exhibition this week to learn more. So we're here today at the Pentagon and we're looking at the lethal and non-lethal directed energy programs. I mean, to the layman, it's their lasers, basically. And behind me, you see some VA systems uh, mock-ups and models of their different stuff. Everything from uh, an electromagnetic railgun, which has been talked about for years, uh, to a hypervelocity projectile, basically making a single projectile in an existing system way faster than what we have now and just as capable and just as accurate or more than the munitions we have now, so they don't have to build a whole new gun. You also have a high-powered microwave unit. Um, it's really for counter UAS and the counter drone swarms, basically knocking out entire swarms of drones, almost like a, a bug zapper with mosquitoes. And you also got the, um, the 25 millimeter small unit uh, tactical laser system. It has a 30 to 60 kilowatt laser. You can integrate right into the existing systems on a ship, no extra space, no extra requirements, and it can knock down threats such as uh, small unmanned drones. It can shoot lasers that way to disable them, kind of mess up their insides and deflect that, that, that threat. Another item here that would be of key use and interest to our ground troops is the High Energy Laser Mobility Tactical Test Truck. Basically they're taking what they have now out in the field, a 5 kilowatt laser, which can take out a small drone, kind of melt that little plastic drone. They're ramping up that power to about 60 kilowatts. This truck would be would essentially be able to take out uh, rockets, artillery, and mortars um, as they're coming in or before they even you know, really get into the launch phase um, once they've left their target. So if you're sitting there, you got a forward base, and those, those things are a threat or some kind of radar notifies that they're coming in, you can melt those things in the sky before they even reach you or cause any kind of harm. Um, still in testing phase, not quite to fielding, but looks pretty promising according to a lot of the scientists here. So now we're going to look at something that's quite a bit smaller and a lot different than what you've seen today. So we hear a lot about lasers and, and different kinds of ways of disrupting technologies like taking down drones by like, interrupting with their signal. But what we see behind us is a silent saber system. It's basically actual heat is going out and going to melt through something, be it you know, metal or plastic or just causing enough heat to uh, cause something to shut down. Um, now, people immediately think about drones, um, but we have weapons for that. They basically disrupt the, the drone. This could do that while also melting it. Um, this could also simultaneously work on a, on a landmine or an IED just a few hundred meters out, providing immediate heat just to melt that object or maybe even cause it to detonate. It's, it's getting into development. It's showing that a single individual soldier or marine could carry that capability out and take out these kind of threats with heat rather than just a disruption of signal because there's all kinds of ways to disrupt signal. There's not a lot of ways to put heat on target at those kind of ranges. We saw a host of different devices and concepts today, all involving lethal and non-lethal use of directed energy or lasers, from a heat cannon you can strap to your M4 to take out drones or IEDs, to you know, lasers mounted on big trucks, to ships, to even futuristic plasma that could shoot to a person and, and kind of talk to it, almost something out of a sci-fi movie. Um, so there's a lot going on in the Department of Defense when it comes to lasers, a lot of interesting things down the pipe, a lot of things out in the field right now. Uh, signing off, this is Todd South from Military Times.